Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jazz Nicole and I'm here with another video. So in today's video, well, I guess the next couple of days, it's my birthday vlog. So my birthday is this weekend. Today is Thursday, May 6th. My birthday is on Saturday, May 8th. So I wanted to take you along with me as I like do some fun things for my birthday. Um, Really, the fun's not gonna really start till tomorrow evening, um, but I kind of wanted to start today because I have to do a few things to kind of get ready. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the push notification button so you can see when I upload some more videos. So today I am going to work because adulting, right? Um, but after work, I need to run to H&M to see if they have this outfit that I want to wear tomorrow for my birthday dinner. Um, and then I need to wash and straighten my hair. It's my first time straightening my hair in over a year. So, <sighs> freaking dryer. Sorry y'all, my dryer just randomly cut on but as I was saying it's my first time straightening my hair in over a year so kind of nervous because the last time I did it I actually went to the salon so yeah but I bought a new flat iron which I'll show y'all later um from Ulta so hopefully it does the job because this <laughs> needs some help but yeah that's all I have today and then I'm gonna try and take some pictures just to like have to post on my Instagram, which if you're not following me on Instagram, you should do so. I'm gonna put my name on the screen and link it down below. But I'm gonna try to take a picture to post today on Instagram and then um, I'm hoping tomorrow at my birthday dinner, I'll get a couple of good photos and to post on Saturday on my actual birthday. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat breakfast and then head to work. And then um, I will catch up with y'all later. Hey y'all, so I'm finally off of work. Well, I've been off work for the last hour. Um, I had to upload a YouTube video, um, the one that I was editing during lunch. So I was able to upload that, and then I left from work. Now I'm here, I was supposed to go to H&M in February 21 to see if I could find like a backup birthday outfit, but they close at seven, and it is, what time is it? It's 7.35, so I'm gonna have to go tomorrow after I get my nails done, but tonight I have to wash my hair and I'm flat ironing it or straightening it, whatever you wanna call it. I just ordered some pizza, so I am gonna go pick that up in a second and then um, eat and then wash my hair because that is going to be an all night process. So that's, that's all I'm doing tonight. But before I do all of that, I did wanna show y'all some stuff that I got in the mail. So I got some packages this past week and um, some of them are natural hair products. I know, I know, I did not need any more natural hair products, but I could not resist. So we are here now. And then some of them, um, it's some things that I bought over the last week. So I'm just gonna show you all. So kind of like a little mini haul. So I'm gonna go take this box in my room. <clears throat> I guess my little work room, I guess you can call it. Okay. So, I have the box. I'm gonna open this box so I can show y'all what I got from Curlbox. Cause you know, the box is a little bit bigger than before. Oh, that's cause half the stuff ain't even in the box. Oh. Okay, so Curlbox had this sale a couple weeks ago. Okay, sometimes when they like pack the stuff, it like ends up spilling, but it's okay. I think it's just a little bit, it's not too bad. I think they just over, that was a fail. Overstuffed the bottle. But anyway, so Curlbox had this sale where they had their, um, so they had African Pride, an African Pride box. And so I ordered that for $20. So I got this aloe and coconut water hydrate and renew curl milk and detangler. I also got the same, so all this is from the same line. So I got the pre shampoo, which I have heard great things about um, African Pride. Uh, shampoo so I'm excited to try it <clears throat> and then the rest of the stuff oh this box is heavy look at this it's so big okay so then it also comes with the conditioner this oh this is a different oh they're not all from the same lot oh I think Oh, okay, so I think the shampoo and conditioner. No, they're all from the same line. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so then I got the honey chocolate and coconut oil repair and replenish conditioner. And then I got the 
Honey and Coconut Oil Nourish and Shine Shampoo. I cannot wait to try these out, y'all. Then I got this Curl Defining Gel. And then this Edge Styling Wax. Maximum Hole Edge Styling Wax. Oh, what it smells so good. Like, probably can't really see, but. It smells so good, y'all. So that is my Curl Box. So that's what I have from Curl Box. Sticking with the theme of natural hair products. I, TGIN, had a 40% off Mother's Day sale. Y'all, I cannot resist. So, I bought the Miracle Repair X Smooth and Protect Anti-Breakage Edge Control. Um, so, I love this line, the Miracle Repair X. I love the shampoo, the leave-in conditioner, the gel, A1. So, I had to do some more stuff from that line. So, I got the edge control from that line. And then I also got the Miracle Repair X Curl Food Daily Moisturizer. And then I also got the deep hydrating hair mask from this line. There's another mask. I'll link the video that I did above, but there's another mask that I use that is, oh my gosh, A1. It's always sold out, but I didn't get it this time. I also got the Rose Water Hydrating Hair Mask. Um, and I think I'm gonna give this one to my sister because um, I'm like, I have a lot of products. And then I got the Rose Water Curl Refresher. So it's supposed to like help like kind of re- vitalize revive why did i say that so it takes so long to say that revive your curls and then y'all the leave-in conditioner is in a jumbo size y'all don't know how excited i am this leave-in conditioner is chef's kiss okay the best leave-in conditioner out there i i promise y'all it will leave your hair feeling so so good it literally mel melts in my hair this jumbo I don't have to worry about running out of this leave-in conditioner because I'm almost out. And I'm actually going to be using what I have left in this wash, uh, the wash day that I'm doing tonight. Um, so I'll be ready to use this baby. And then because I ordered over like $50 worth of stuff, I got a little makeup bag, cosmetic bag. And then it gave me a little like trial size of the Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. But I already have that. And then they also gave me a trial size of the Sulfate Free Shampoo. So that's really cute. Oh, it's two buttercream uh, moisturizer travel sizes. So love, love, love TGIN. And y'all, I hope one day I get a chance to work with them because I absolutely love their products. So yes, I have a problem with hair products. I have too many, but it is what it is. So next, I went into Sephora and um, picked up a few things. So since it's my birthday, I get a free gift. So I got this NARS Laguna um highlight and lipstick or is it a bronzer hold on it might be a bronzer what is this thing oh it's a bronzer it's a bronzer and she was saying that it would be best to use as a highlight or like an eyeshadow so i would probably use it as an eyeshadow so that was really cool and then i bought this um sephora concealer brush number 57 and um really really needed like a a new brush like i have like brushes that work well but i want trying to like up my makeup game you know a little bit so i got this concealer brush so we'll try it out so i wanted a um foundation that was in a powder foundation and i was looking at sephora collection but none of them like they were either too light or too dark it just was not matching so i was like okay show me what you got like show me what else you got so she was like, okay, Fenty. I was like, okay, Fenty, all right, my girl be real, right? Now I can work with that. So I ended up getting the um, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. And I got this one in the shade 440, which I feel like it was light, but she said it wasn't. So we'll have to, we'll have to see. It says medium to full coverage for all. So we'll try, I'm trying this out tomorrow for my birthday dinner. So hopefully that works and then I bought the Fenty Beauty match sticks match skin tick skin stick wow can't speak and I got this in the shade espresso um and it's a con supposed to conceal correct and contour long wear light is air layering so I'm a little behind like you know the makeup trends whatever but I felt like this was something I was looking for so hopefully fingers crossed it will work out. I'm probably not gonna, I probably will try these out tomorrow for my birthday dinner. We'll see. Oh, and then I went to Target to do a return and I ended up buying this, um, the Lip Bar um, Liquid Matte Lipstick in the color 
hot mama. <sighs> okay, so I am back. I got my pizza and I just got two slices of pizza um, from Bellini's. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. Some jumbo slices of pizza. I'm probably only gonna eat one slice tonight. Maybe, we'll see. Um, but I'm about to eat that and then I need to wash my hair. I feel like I'm prolonging it on purpose, but I need to wash it, so. I'm exhausted just thinking about it because I have not like actually flat ironed my own hair in a really long time. So it's about to be a long night, but we are here. So yeah. Alrighty. So on today's wash day episode, gonna show y'all what I'll be using. Um, start with shampoo. I am using the TGIN Miracle Repair Strengthening Shampoo. Told y'all, love this line. Then for deep conditioner, I'm gonna be using the Honey's Handmade Peppermint Deep Penetrating Hair Mask. I'm actually going to be using, um, this one's almost done, so I have the other one here. Um, and then after that, I am going to be using the Miracle Repair X Protective Leave-In Conditioner. Um, and then I have this Afro Sheen for a blowout spray for when I blow dry my hair. And then this Myel Organics Thermal Heat thermal and heat protectant spray which honestly I might be able to just use this one um like for my blow drying and like flat ironing my hair so we'll see it doesn't make sense what to eat protectants then I have my handy dandy blow dryer and then this lovely flat iron that I got uh, I'll show you like the it's the baby baby bliss pro um, Nano Titanium Professional Straightener. It apparently has like a whole bunch of different um, settings and whatnot. So we're gonna see if this gets my hair straight. So now I'm just gonna detangle my hair. Um, I probably won't catch up with you all till um, after I blow dry my hair, just so I can focus on getting my hair washed and everything. So. Um, once I'm getting ready to flat iron my hair, I will check back in with you all. It is 1.20 in the morning. I just finished blow drying my hair. Why did I think it was a good idea to start this today? <sighs> or tonight, I guess. But my hair is blow dried. I'm going to sit under the dryer just to make sure that like, the roots are dry. And then I'm going to flat iron it. I'm like, at this point, I'm up. I might as well go ahead and do the whole thing. Because I know tomorrow I'm not going to want to do it. Or I'm going to have to rush. And I'm not in the mood to rush. Because I still have to go get my nails done. I have to find an outfit for dinner. I have to pick up a package from the Amazon store, so I'm just not going to have time. And then dinner's at 7.30, so I'm not going to have time to, like, do all that and get back in time because I know my nails are going to take a minute because I'm being a little extra with my nails. You know, your birthday nails, you got to be a little extra, which I, vote, I made, like, a, a this or that poll on Instagram um, a couple days ago, and so, like, a lot of folks voted, so the one with the most votes, the one I'm going to do. They were all cute, but I just needed help picking one. So, it's gonna be a busy day tomorrow. Like, I'm off from work, which is good, but it's just like, I'm not gonna have time to flat iron my hair because it's gonna take a while. So, I'm like, I'll sacrifice a couple hours of sleep. I'll just be having to coffee all day tomorrow. So, I'm gonna flat iron my ear. Good morning, y'all. So, I'm actually running very late. Um, I. My appointment's at 10 30 for my nails, and it's 10 15. So, I need to go. But, I wanted to get on here and tell y'all I didn't go to bed till after three doing my hair and then I woke up kind of late because I was tired and now I'm rushing to get to the my nail salon to so my nail appointment because it's at 10 30 and your girl is always late so I'm trying to make sure I have everything I need to look at my credit card too um and I didn't eat breakfast because I, as you can see, I'm running late. Uh, I was gonna make a bagel, but I'm not gonna have time, so I'm gonna just eat some applesauce and walk with the snack for now. I don't know how it came from like 10, or from like nine o'clock to 10.30 so quickly, 10.15 so quickly, but here we are. It's a Friday. I don't want to get caught in all the Friday folks. Get my umbrella. And so I need to get a hair tie as well. Um, so, I'm trying to get my life together and where's the hair tie? Okay. 
yeah, I'm trying to get my life together because I'm always late for everything. Um, but after I get my nails done, I am going to, um, I'm going to go to H&M and Forever 21 and see if I can find an outfit for tonight. Fingers crossed I can find an outfit for tonight because if not, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cry. Okay, so I'm in my car now. I went to Forever 21 and I got some stuff from there and then I went to H&M and I got some stuff from there. So hopefully I can put together this birthday outfit, y'all, because I am struggling. It should it should come together. If my vision is coming the way I want it to come, it should come together. But um, I got my nails done. It took me almost two hours to get my nails done. Then I went to lunch with some of my friends and then I came here at Atlantic Station. Now I just need to go to Target because I need some strapless bras because your girl is not having strapless bras. So, um... I'm gonna go get those from Target and then also, um, I don't need nothing else in Target. Nope, mm -mm. see, as a setup. I don't need anything else in Target but the sport, the, the trapless bras. If I come back, y'all, on this video and I tell y'all that I bought something other than them uh, strapless bras in Target, tell me, y'all can tell me to take it back in the comments because I'm gonna need to take it back because that's not what I'm going there for. Okay, so I am back home. Y'all, I'm so tired. It is 4.45, whew, 4.45 and I'm tired because I did not expect to be out this late, but I got a few things. Oh, first let me show you my nails. You can see, like, okay, maybe this is better. Okay, yes, so this is the nails, birthday nails. Um, the pink is a lot brighter than I was anticipating, but it's cute. I got a lot of compliments so far on it. Um, I just did white on my toes because, you know, white is just an easy staple to do. Um, but yeah, I went into Target, y'all, and I stuck with what I said I was going to buy. I only bought bras. So I got four bras. Let me show y'all. So I bought four bras, and they were between $12 and $18. So this beige strapless bra. Well, it's a, it's a um, multi, like five ways to wear it. It's a push-up bra. It's beige, and um, this was $18. Then I got this cute black and white one, and it doesn't have any wire, which I actually prefer, because, like, the wire just be digging in. But um, this one was $15. Then I got this black bra that you can wear also multiple ways. This one was also $15. Um, it's also a push-up. And then I got this last bra. It's like a purple burgundy color. Really cute. I like the lace on it. Um, this one doesn't have a removable strap, but it's all good. It's also a push-up bra. And then I went into Forever 21 to see if I can find something to kind of help the dress that I want to wear on my birthday. So I got this silver like chain belt. And I'm hoping that it will pull together the dress that I want to wear. Hopefully it'll pull it together. And I bought this cute little handbag. Um, nothing special. It does come with the uh, additional straps, but I'm wondering if I even want to wear the additional straps tonight. So we'll see. But if that outfit that I'm trying to do does not work out, I have a couple options. So I bought this white flower dress it's a strapless dress but it does come with this like comes with like attached straps you can put on um this dress is only twenty dollars so good right um but if this if that first outfit works then i'll save this tomorrow because tomorrow i'm doing a picnic with some friends um so i'll save this for tomorrow to go to the park then i bought this black dress Oop, there it is it's um i'm just gonna find the pictures online so you all can see what it's supposed to look like on um but i bought this black dress this one might be worn tomorrow if i wear the white dress tonight i bought this crop top for the third time i'm saying it it's kind of like an, a kind of like a square shoulder crop top and i have a pair of black shorts that i was gonna wear if like if i'm not really feeling that outfit so that might be going back but oh and then i bought some gold necklace and a gold bracelet so now um i'm gonna try and what time is it must be five o'clock so 
I need to start getting ready. Um, we're going to Shri Thai and Atlantic Station. I'm gonna go try on these outfits to see if they're gonna work in my vision. And I really hope they do because I don't have time to figure something else out. <sighs> okay, y'all. So it has been a long evening. Like, when I tell y'all long evening, I was running late to dinner. So I left my camera so I wasn't even able to show y'all like the process. It, it's, it's been a long night. Um, but as you can see, this is the makeup look. It's the same look that I did in my like simple neutral makeup video that I'll link above. Um, and my hair, I just like curled it and like let it do its own thing, but it's like really puffy now, so kind of over it. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of like get on and like, show y'all what I wore. I'm gonna try and see if I can like if it'll show. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna put y'all right there. Don't mind the backdrop, I have a lot going on. But this is my outfit. Really cute. If you can see the shoes, cute shoes. So this is the aftermath of me getting ready. <laughs> like, it's crazy. So yeah, I think I really, I did really well with my makeup. I, I mean, for like doing this in 20 minutes, I think I did really well. Um, like my eyebrows look good, y'all. <laughs> I'm just gonna go film this last Instagram reel. Um, and then I'm just gonna take off my makeup, do my skincare routine, and then try to clean up because my mom and sister and dad are supposed to come tomorrow um, in the morning. So um, I'm gonna clean up a little bit just so they can kind of not see my apartment in a mess. So it's officially my birthday! <laughs> so I decided to take a shot uh, of Crown, Peach Crown. Um, haven't actually had hard liquor in a really long time, so I did not like the taste of it. <laughs> um, but I'll like post a little clip of it so y'all can see the little video I did on Instagram, which if you're not following me, you should follow me. But yes, I just wanted to come on here and say it's finally my birthday. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go take this makeup off now <laughs> and go to bed. And I will chat with y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all. So I'm still in my pajamas. Well, time is it? Okay, it's 11.30, so it's still morning. Um, so I've been up since like 9.45. Um, I got up and kind of like cleaned up my apartment a little bit. And then I, um, oh, I read some of my, my morning devotionals because I was behind. So I caught up on those. And then um, I was kind of responding to some texts from, wishing me happy birthday. So now I'm about to go to um, Kroger because my mom and sister are coming and so we're gonna make like our do-it-yourself I guess mimosas, mimosas? <laughs> we're gonna do that and just hang out for a little bit and then this afternoon going to a picnic for my birthday um, and yeah I'm just feeling all the love today and really grateful just to make it to another year it's kind of cloudy today which I'm not really feeling but hopefully the weather will hold out so I'm gonna go just get dressed really quick I already did like my skincare routine oh not the ground blue juice it's the ground effect blue juice right here y'all sean done got comfortable look i'm trying to tell you <laughs> comfortable Woo. yes we're out here piedmont park so we are out here for my birthday and I had to walk away for a second because I didn't want to get copyrighted with the music. But yes, I am like y'all, I'm out here vlogging. Okay, look at me starting off here at 28 like this. Okay, but yes, um, <clears throat> I am vlogging. Um, we're here, like we found this little spot. Like look at this, this is so, like such a beautiful day outside. And it's not too hot. I think it's like in the 70s maybe. Oh yeah, 
just kind of gonna chill out here um, and eat and just be merry. A few folks are gonna join us later. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. Ugh, it's within my eye. The pollen's gonna kill me, but it is what it is. Um, I will say I had a great time earlier with my fa my family. My mom and dad and sister came to see me um, and we like ate pizza and just had a really good time. And I got a new camera lens. So yes, the quality of these videos is about to be chef's kiss. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill and hang out. I'll probably try to vlog a little bit while we're out here. But um, other than that, I'll catch up with y'all later. Good afternoon, y'all. Um, it is... Wow, it's almost one o'clock. Um, I've been up since like 10 though. So last night I had a lot of fun. I, what did I do last night? <laughs> After I got back from the park, um, there was a escape uh, versus um, SWV versus last night. So I was like, okay, let me get on that. So I was jamming out. I was on FaceTime with my mom and sister and we were jamming out. I just had a really good time, you know, just chilling in the apartment by myself, just kind of like a chill way to end the night. Um, and then I actually ended up hanging out with um, some of my friends. Um, we live in the same building. So I went upstairs to their apartment and we like just hung out, played Uno for a bit, drank some wine and whatnot. And then I came down and was a little lit. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, it's time for me to go to bed. So I took off my makeup, took off my contacts, brushed my teeth, washed my face and went straight to bed, okay? This morning I just, I woke up, I started kind of cleaning up around the house I'm doing laundry right now. Today's gonna be kind of like a rest and relax day. I don't have too much planned. It's Mother's Day. Um, I was supposed to work today, but I ended up not needing to work today. So kind of like a little sad that I didn't get to go home, but it's all good. I got to see my mom yesterday, so that was really fun. And my dad and my sister, so you know, it was fun seeing the fam. Plus I'm going home next weekend because my dad's birthday is on the 16th of May. So it's kind of like, we do like one big like celebration for like my birthday, my, uh, dad's birthday and then mother's day so i got these sneakers from the fam y'all i need a good pair of sneakers look at these these are so cute love them so really excited about that they're the nike air max bella yeah nike air max bella and they're really cute and then i got some cards from my sister and my mama and then my sister really hooked me up. Like, look at this coach little like wallet. It's perfect. I'm gonna be traveling in June, so this is perfect for me to take with me. And then she also got me like this little toothbrush holder. So cute. This belt. I need lots of belts. And then she got me this cute, look at this, from WandaVision. Cause I actually, hold on, focus, focus. Okay. Yeah, from WandaVision. And it's so cute, it's like an eyeshadow. So I'm really excited to try this out. And then she got me, what else? This uh, cute pair of earrings, which is so cute. I got a Target gift card, which I know I love Target, and an Academy Sports gift card. So I'm really excited about those. And then y'all, woo we look y'all, we gonna have the Listen, the uh, content finna be on 10, okay? I've been wanting this uh, uh, lens for my Canon M50, so super, super, super excited to try this out. Got some clothes for my sister. Let me tell you how bomb my sister is, hold on. My sister is literally the best. She and I, we both love the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, so now we have matching t-shirts. She is the best. But yeah, got some I like some clothes and then my line sister got me this cute like paint set, which is perfect because like I need some uh just some like hobbies and you know time to actually relax and I love painting, so this is totally cute and perfect. And then I think that was oh, and then I got some balloons from the family and really appreciate it. Oop, it's a little dark now. Hold on. There we go. Just some numbered balloons and really cute. And then I had some folks um, like just send me some money and some gift cards. So I'm very, very appreciative um, of everyone who's like sent me something. Um, yeah, it was a really good birthday. Like. So I went to Academy Sports. Um, I was able to get some good stuff. I got three sports bras, two shorts, and a pair of sneakers. I'll show y'all that when I get back to my apartment. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Like I feel like I'm supposed to be going to, on a trip at the end of June and I'm trying to just work out not necessarily to like lose weight but just I'm trying to build some confidence in my body and accepting my body for like what it is and um 
I feel like just working out, e eating better is gonna, I feel like, help change my mindset um, when it comes to, like, my body because I feel, like, guilty if I eat, like, two cookies. Like, I feel guilty when I eat foods that I really enjoy. Like, if I have, like, cookies or popcorn or candy or something, I feel like I have to, like... I just feel guilty eating it, whereas I should be able to enjoy food and work out and just live a healthier lifestyle, you know? Um, I feel like more ready to actually put in the effort to um, work out because I'm trying to spend money and have these sports bras just sitting there collecting dust. Like, we're gonna use them. Tomorrow's supposed to be just like day one at this workout plan that I, um, and I'm gonna be doing. Technically, I'm a week behind, but last week was just not the week for me to start a workout plan and eating healthy. It just was not the week, so. This week is going to be that week and I'm just going to start it off and then I just want to build up some, build up some like uh, consistency when it comes to just, you know, being more active and eating healthier. So that's my plan. We'll see how that goes. So back in the store, all the stores, um, and I went uh, to Target, Kroger, and Academy Sports. Um, but yeah, I came home and I was like, yeah, I gotta eat. Like I hadn't eaten anything since that bagel earlier, so I was starving, so I made some chicken alfredo. So let me show y'all. So I'm watching Criminal Minds, but I made some chicken alfredo. I have a glass of pink Moscato. And yeah, that is what I'll be doing now. I'm just gonna eat some dinner and I guess it's like, yes, yeah, dinner. I'll probably snack later because I'm probably gonna be up late well not too late but I'm gonna eat now and then I'm gonna try and finish some laundry and I'm gonna try start editing this vlog because it's supposed to go up on Wednesday and I just know it's gonna be a lot because I have a lot of stuff that I filmed this weekend so hopefully you all are enjoying it so far but I'll show you all what I got from the um, from Target and Academy Sports once I finish eating okay so I have finished my dinner and it was really good y'all like chicken alfredo was chef's kiss just wanted to show you all what I quickly got from um, Target and Academy Sports and if y'all hear noise in the background it's my washer and dryer because I'm still doing laundry Pro tip, don't wait till like the Sunday where you have no more clothes and underclothes to wear to do laundry. Um, okay, so start off with Target because I'm very proud of myself and that I actually went in there for two things and I came out with the two things that I asked for. Growth, y'all, growth, okay? But the first thing that I got was this over the door shoe organizer. Um, so I have a lot of shoes <laughs> and the little like, um, shoe shelf that I have like it has a lot of my winter shoes on there and my summer spring and summer shoes are kind of just like chilling on the floor of my closet so I was like let me get this and I think I might use this to I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this yet to be honest um but I, I needed it next I got this um steamer this fabric steamer so I I'm gonna be so honest with y'all, I am lazy when it comes to ironing. So I was like, you know what? Let me get me a little steamer so in the morning when I'm like, you know, getting dressed or whatever, if something is wrinkled, I can just, you know, use the steamer. Hopefully this one works. Um, it's only $18, so that wasn't too bad. So that is all I got from Target. So then I went to Academy Sports and I bought a couple of things. Because I told y'all I'm doing this little workout plan, so... Your girl needed some workout stuff. Um, so I bought three sports bras. I bought, bought this in red. Is this is gray. Gray. Ow, I'm just making myself in the face. And then navy blue. It's the front. <laughs> um, and it's supposed to be um, this uh, medium support. Um, it doesn't have like a tag, so it doesn't have that itchy tag on the back. And then what else did it say? And that is also racer back. And it says perfect for moderate intensity activities like walking, spinning, spinning, or circuit training. Then I bought these like, what are they called? Volley shorts. They're low rise, tight fit, hit above the thigh. So it's supposed to be like these workout shorts. Not really workout shorts, I guess, but let's read the little tag, because I definitely didn't read the tag. But it says it's odor resistant, anti shape seaming, and no roll waistband. So that's good, at least it won't roll down when you're like working out. And then I also got it in this like darker gray color. So not bad at all. Then I bought these sneakers, pink and white sneakers to work out in. 
They're really cute. They had some good um, good reviews. They had like, a mem memory foam inside. So, you know, I'm gonna use that to wear inside the house to work out because the, the sneakers that I got for my birthday for my sister, like those are perfect for like if I'm going out like walking, like when I go on like my trip. I definitely have to say this has been a really great weekend celebrating my birthday and just kind of like just having a good weekend, you know? Um, so, I do have to go back to work tomorrow, you know, adulting, but it's all good. I still, you know, enjoyed my time off. But that is all that I have for you all today. Thank you all for sticking with me through this vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the push notification button so you can see when I upload some more videos. And let me know down in the comments if you all like the vlogs that I do. Um, let me know, I'll keep doing them. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. But that is all I have for you all today. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, bye.